So on behalf of the Department of Botany, I welcome you all. Thank yes, you, tomorrow sir. we have an inauguration for coursework. Thank you, sir. All the best. Certificate course. Yes, sir. So I welcome you all. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And all the best, sir. Thank you. And um, um, uh, sir, Niva, I host to Yella. Okay. Uh, sir, no, no, I Welcome you to number 20. Thank you, sir. All the best. Certificate course. Yes, sir. Madam, where is Shahin? Madam, unmute yourself. Chillur sir, Chillur sir, Kalshin Nodre is a link. Yes, sir. Link I, I'll call up. Sir. I'll just check. Sir, is there an answer, sir? Sir, phone Madi to Sarah or Utamat is a plate. I joined the Nandas. Recording with YouTube link now from the principal sir photo on the tele. YouTube link ready, my dear sir. That's all a name photo. How then? I think we are in the screen mega or photo for the Okay, record Madiola. record Aduna edit Madi. Why don't we put it on our website, sir? Sure, sure. Hakun, sir. College website. Anjipinji Matella edit Madi. Sir, big hotel in Allah, download Madakulaka, Bala data back access. Ah, the college offline ever learn. Karasti is totally Karasti. Now, on the geofiber connection to all in sir, college, ye, Wi Fi. Ah, you got a banditi. Bandit, sir, you get? Oh, the Connection to only, eh? Angitandre, a geofiber rolling now, yellow download mark boats, sir, is too. Ah, Allah, sir, you record marriage in the middle of the tila. Number device make regular, ado. You map is it, sir? Illa, sir, one the option I take. We can record it in our laptop or color. Shahin, mute yourself. Ah. Yes, sir. Should I okay, start? Okay. Sir? Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Still time is there and uh, resource person, chief guest has not yet joined. Okay, sir. Hmm? Wait. Host Welcome, Dr. Dalai, sir. Professor Chillur. Huh? Host Martin. All right. I don't know what to wait. 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 Hello, hello, my anchor room of the welcome speech. Hello, student for today. Now, the end of the day, the schedule course on the two minutes. You starting here today. Welcome again. Hi, sorry. Tell you that a guest. Martha, sorry.
गुड मॉर्निंग सर बड़गेर सर हाँ गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर जे के बड़गेर वेलकम गुड इवनिंग एवरीबाडी सर नमस्कार सर नमस्ते मैडम यस सर प्रिंसिपल सर नमस्कार नमस्कार मैडम यस सर बड़गे सर हवर यू हाँ फाइन मैडम थैंक यू हाउ अबाउट यू हाँ फाइन सो आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट वन मोर मीटिंग एट फाइव थर्टी या 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 दैट्स फॉर अ फोरम या या फोरम्स मीटिंग चाइन यस सर अदर गर्ल्स हैव जॉइन Rubina, Namira. Yes, all are all are there, sir. All are there, ma'am. Yes, sir. Namira is not there, I think. Ah, uh, I'm here only, sir. Good evening, okay, sir. Okay, good, good. Namira so and uh, Rubina. Yes, she's there. Okay, Rubina is there. And who is one more, ma'am? Hina, Hina. Hina. Hina is also ah. there, sir. Good evening, sir. Oh, you are also there. Very good. <laughs> <coughs> the main organizers must be there first should i start sir uh, namaste namaste sir sir namaste welcome thank you sir all the very best sir thank you thank you so we'll wait for another one or two minutes students are joining i have sent the link for all the students sure sir but dear sir nim students ke andidilla Ah, I think ah, uh, uh, some of them might have joined. Ah, uh -huh. uh, there are few actually. Some okay. uh, uh, ten students may join, and since you have given me YouTube link, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. that that is for late comers after hundred. <laughs> Till hundred, we can uh, permit everybody. <laughs> okay. Shaheen, all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Disha, madam. Yes. Good evening. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. All, all the best to all the students. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, principal, sir. Ah, uh, with your kind permission, we shall okay, start. Sir, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Yes. Start it. Shaheen. Yes, sir. Okay. All the best. Thank you, sir. Good evening to all. Honorable Chairman of Anjumani Islam, the OB and EB Management Members, Revered Administrator of Nehru Art, Science, Commerce College and PG Center, Major Dr. M. F. Ansari, Respected Principal Sir, Professor Syed Firoz Ahmed, Revered Chief Guest and Resource Person Dr. G. K. Badigar. respected head of the department of english dr s m chillur respected chairperson of bos certificate course dr asha and rab and coordinator of certificate course dr disha madan learned faculty and my dear friends on behalf of management principal staff and students of nehru arts science commerce college and pg center i feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to each one of you i shahin parvin from post graduate department of studies in english welcome you all one Working second ex get... excuse me yes sir hello uh, sir recording on mari sir hey re hi re recording on mari recording is not it started
one second. Sorry for interruption. No problem. Sorry, recording on, madam. Hello, hello. Okay. Yes, no, sir. It started. Right. Uh, from the beginning, ma'am. So you continue. Okay, you can start. Okay, ma'am. Continue. You can continue. Yes, ma'am. Coming yeah. together is beginning. Learning together is progress, and working together is success. And this is what the Department of English strives to do. And today, the Department of English is organizing forty hours online offline self financed. certificate course for ug final semesters and pg students for overall development and personality overall development and personality personality skills required in this pragmatic and empirical world well we believe you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great and with this i would like to call ms heena harkoni of ma economics second semester to welcome the online gathering over to you heena welcome sir and sir sir welcome for all dignitary respected teachers and my dear friends a very good evening to all of you to welcome each one of you we welcome the chairman of anjuman islam bookly eb and ob members of the management the administrator major dr ms ansari sir and the principal of our institution professor sayed firoz ahmed sir we extend a very heartfelt welcome to each one of you on behalf of the management the principal staff and students of nehru college and the department of english we extend a very warm welcome to the chief guest dr g k padigar associate college dharwad ina unmute unmute your audio kind enough to take precious moment with us welcome sir The warm thanks extended to the head of the Department of Studies in English, IQLC Coordinator Dr. S M Chilur Sir, the Chairperson of BOS Certificate Course Dr. Asha N Rab, and the Coordinator of Certificate Course Dr. Disha Madan. We also welcome the teachers who present here. The the presence of the students is appreciated. Once again, welcome one and all. Thank you. Or to you, Shahin. Shahin, unmute. Thank you, Hina. The person who is our mentor, one who always encourages us to find possible in impossible, who is none other than the head of the Department of English, Doctor S M Chillur. Sir, I invite you to brief us about this certificate course. Over to you, sir. thank you sahin good evening one and all respected the resource person dr jk badiger and uh, distinguished uh, president of this program inaugural program of certificate course revered principal professor sayed feroz ahmed and administrator dr uh, major dr m f ansari sir nac coordinator dr ethnati sir and uh, bos chairman of this certificate course dr ashan rab madam the most senior professor and uh, course coordinator dr disha madan and all my, dr m m dalai sir my colleague my best friend and all my colleagues my dear students it gives me an immense pleasure to brief about the certificate course which we are going to start from today so this is the certificate course for final year and pg students to complete their graduation with a proper finishing touch in different types of uh, skills this is the competitive 
communicative and skill oriented world where english language plays its major role as an international and global language without the knowledge of english language graduation or post graduation is incomplete though a student gets 90% and above it's of in english so with the purpose to help the students of final year degree students and the pg students to complete their graduation and post graduation successfully with the knowledge of english speaking skills and other related skills certificate course is started from this academic year 2021 the aim of this course is to help the students to develop their ability to communicate effectively in english both speaking with accent and writing for better placement in corporate sectors the main purpose of this course is to teach the students to make up their mind strong and help them to become confident in the usage of english language by the by teaching the basic basic rules of grammar spelling capitalization number usage punctuation tenses speeches voices and other related skills how to defeat others in communication by defending themselves how to face interview how to initiate or how to begin their speech in the group discussion will be taught in this uh, certificate course of 40 hours the duration will be 40 hours weekly two or three days that to without affecting uh, the regular classes in the evening 4 to 5 30 or 6 classes will be engaged and uh, there will be four papers uh, paper 1 functional grammar paper 2 fun communication skill paper 3 analytical skill and paper 4 functional english practical classes so uh, these are the four papers and we have prepared the syllabus for this and uh, paper wise we have uh, framed the syllabus and uh, in the first class from tomorrow only i'll give the details of syllabus and the uh, question pattern and other things so with this brief uh, introduction about this course i welcome all of you to this uh, uh, inauguration program of certificate course once again thank you one and all thank you chahin for giving me an opportunity to brief the brief something about the course thank you over to chahin thank you so much sir the world is full of diamonds and gems and we are having some of them here to build this event with this note i would like to call miss namira qureshi of ma english second semester to introduce the chief guest of today's evening over to you namira thank you shahin good evening honorable dignitaries respected teachers and my dear friends i am extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to introduce our today's chief guest dr gurunath bedigar born in 1972 in gadami party started teaching at his graduation from basaveshwar arts college bagalpur and ma from karnataka university dharwad in 1995 he was awarded mphil and phd from gulbar he was awarded mphil and phd mera unmute please continue thank you shahin good evening honorable dignitaries respected teachers and Uh, namira one second please unmute yourself namira sir it is getting uh, muted again i think there is some network issue sir okay okay no problem we can continue now okay sir good evening honorable dignitaries respected teachers and my dear friends i am extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to introduce our today's chief guest dr gurunath bedigar Born in 1972 in Badami Taluk, Sir has completed his graduation from Basaveshwar Arts College, Bagalkot, and MA from Karnataka University, Dharwad, in 1995. He was awarded MPhil and PhD from Gulbarga University in 1998 and 2008, respectively. He has two books to his credit: A Short History, English Literature, and An Introduction to English Phonetics. He has been serving the teaching fraternity as a secretary of Karnataka University Academic Forum for English teachers for the third time. 
He attended more than 42 national and international conferences and delivered talks on varied topics. He gave 12 radio talks besides conducting workshops on communication skills in English. He worked in various capacities in college and PG departments, affiliated to Karnataka University, Mysore University, and Gulbarga University for 25 years. He has also conducted workshops on communication skills, job skills, and English language and literature, both for teachers and students. He has been awarded by Nehru College Hubli with Teacher in Essence Actor Power Excellence Citation Award and also awarded by the Folklore Society of South India with Professor V. I. Subramanian and Professor K. S. Haridas Bhatt Award for Best Research Paper Award. Paper. Currently, Sir is an Associate Professor of English, serving in Government First Grade College and PG Center, Dharwar. A winner is someone who recognizes his God-given talents, works his tail off to develop them into skills, and uses these skills to accomplish his goals. One such personality who is a winner all through is amongst us. I present before you the most dynamic, zestful, ever energetic, and multi-talented personality, Dr. Gurunath Badikar, Associate Professor of English from Government First Grade College and PG Center, Dharwar. Welcome, sir. Thank you, one and all. Over to you, Shaheen. Thank you, Namira, for acknowledging us with the achievement of a chief guest. Knowing others is intelligence. Knowing yourself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength, but mastering yourself is a true power. And today, one such master is amongst us. I take this opportunity to welcome Dr. G.K. Badiger, the chief guest of today's program, to enlighten and edify us on, the, on skills for placement in corporate sectors. Over to you, sir. A very good evening to all of you. Good evening, sir. Good evening to Nehru College, Hubli. Good evening, good evening. A respected <laughs> principal, <laughs> Professor Said Firoz Ahmed, respected administrator, and our very senior friend, uh, Major Mepan Sariji, and my department colleagues, my friend, Dr. S.M. Chilur, my classmate and the best friend, uh, and my senior uh, teacher, Dr. Asha Rab, uh, Dr. Disha Madan, and uh, Dr. Dalayat, as usual, the best friends, and the whole faculty of Nehru College, the IQAC coordinator, NAC coordinator, the best team we have in this part of the world. <laughs> whether it is Ethnate, Chilu, sir, or the whole team, the teamwork that I always appreciate in Nehru College and always love to visit uh, and share some of our thoughts whenever invited, uh, sometimes formally, sometimes informally. These things happen. Today, I'm very happy uh, to virtually inaugurate the certificate course that our friends uh, uh, you know, designed and developed uh, indigenously. Uh, with a title that skills for the placement in corporate world, you know. Uh, in fact, this this skill for placement in corporate sector includes so many things. In fact, it is timely and uh, a necessity at the same time, and we are all supposed to do these things it is a necessity for the students it's the need of the hour and uh, we all have to think how to enlighten our students how to empower our students with the new skills of course now we are talking about skills separately Earlier skills were not discussed separately, rather skills were a part of our everyday life, 
skills were a part of our everyday education skills were a part of our living itself but now it is time that specific skills are uh, required and the institutions are uh, in fact under compulsion to conduct certain courses what we call graduate finishing courses or life life skills or uh, what we call soft skills career personality skills communication skills there are so many titles for this why we are now talking about these skills why what is the necessity of uh, such skills today uh, is to be discussed uh, it is already discussed by my friend dr chilur in his introductory that why the college uh, decided to and that it's not that just we are we want a course in the college it's not that we want to fill our papers with some titles and some signatures is that nehru college has been always thinking about the good of the students the welfare of the society and they have been striving whether conducting a cultural program whether conducting an academic program there has been some kind of a professionalism in this college which i have witnessed over the last decade i mean to say that this skills corporate skills is one thing while learning the students should carry some knowledge along with knowledge skills should follow unfortunately there is a gap between knowledge and skills a kind of a gap has been noticed by many corporate companies many employment you know employers in other words that the students are very good at knowledge your students no doubt if you are ma english no doubt they are good at english if you are msc they are good in science if you are be they are good in their own respective subject they pass the examination they have qualified the particular degree with the distinction with good number of marks not just by you know unfair means but with a fair means they have knowledge of subject but when it comes to translating knowledge into the required skills students fail many nascom reported this one of the biggest employers for uh, it ites industries and the research has been done by nascom number of companies have come out with a statement that the students who come from indian universities they are very very good indian universities means colleges we are all under uh, you know performing university education here but the biggest problem is that they don't express what they know openly they don't know how to convert their knowledge into required skills let's come to this point what is this this knowledge the gap how this gap is to be bridged by the institution by the students it is not just the responsibility of the institution it is also the responsibility of students i mean to say that every syllabus carries its own aims and objectives every syllabus carries its own outcomes now we are talking about outcomes what a student should carry after ba what a student should carry after bba bcom bsc or ma mcom whatever at the end of what we carry are you confident enough to enter the world and prove that you can do anything and you can get you can manage the jobs most of the students it is said that they are not confident even after getting degree most of the students sometimes higher education higher insecurity this this we have noticed many students express that i am not 
able to do anything of because I am double graduate. I am a PhD. I can't do this. I can't do that. I, I am aiming at this only. And is education meant for making you weak? Is education aimed at empowerment? The higher the education, higher should be the confidence. The higher the education, higher should be the empowerment. So obviously, in the recent time, the NEP guidelines have come. NEP 2020, National Education Policy 2020. This emphasized clearly that every year, even when you are first year, first year, there must be certain skills in the first year itself. Even if you stop your education in the first year, you must go into job market confidently and seek a job. Even in the second year, you can quit, you can come back. It means that it is not just degree of three years, I tell you, every year we should aim at certain skills for our students. Okay, it doesn't mean that the syllabus did not carry skills. They carried, but we were not able to inject them properly. Okay, this is the right time now. You have started short-term course. In the short-term course, they have planned as uh, Dr. Chil said the three papers and one practical paper there. Practical use of, whether practical use of English, or practical, you know, uh, what you call, whether it is interview skills, whether it is group discussion skills, analytical skills, this, that. We all have to sit and, and work out these things. So obviously with this preamble, I'm coming to the point, skills and English, okay. Skill gap and particularly English skills are very much lacking in our students. Dear friends, as you know, as per a survey, 78% of corporate, corporate communication take place in English and almost 13 to 14% in national language Hindi, almost 8 to 10% in the regional languages. I hope you understand the enormity of this, the demand for English, why there is a demand for English. You know, uh, you know, it's going to be a big story. Uh, if I can just tell you that English is here in this country, English will continue to be here for some obvious reasons. English came to India with the British in 1600. English became the medium of education in 1835. So English would have been sent back to England in 1947 with the Declaration of Independence but we were not able to do that because we are a multilingual country, multi-ethnic country, multicultural issues. And if one state accepted one national language, another state does not accept national language. And English became the lingua franca, the common language which has been accepted by many. And obviously the three language policy emphasizes the need for English, in, you know, local language, second language as English, third language as Hindi, obviously. And even after that, we could have developed our own software like China, Japan, which have developed their own language keyboards, this, that we were not able to do. And obviously English remained here. And after 1990s, the globalization, privatization, and liberalization has opened India to the global market, has opened India you know, to the whole world, liberalized policies. And our graduates begin to seek jobs elsewhere. We have the best engineers, the best doctors, the best nurses, the best technicians, and all these people you know, spread across the world and they have taken jobs in different companies. The issue is that India also became one of the important ITES hubs 
it is not just IT, I tell you, information technology, IETES, information technology enable services. Uh, Dr. Chiller, do you think I should use a PPT or? A... Yeah, you can, you can. <laughs> no, if you, uh, your students are uh, uh, used to this kind of PPT presentation, I may use PPT for one or two reasons. You know? Can I make you host? Uh, is it compulsory that I should be made a host? Yeah. I'll make you host now. Okay. 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 Can save. Can you can you see this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I, I just speaking about how um, English became an important language in this country. Uh, you know, I was just talking about the, the world we are living in. We are living in a world of information technology, perhaps the second industrial revolution of a new kind. We can call this information technology. The fast movement, the 4G technology. Now we are talking about 5G technology uh, and the importance of communication, the importance of knowledge industry, which is ruling the world today. And information sharing is a big, big business in the world. That's what we are talking about. BPO, KPO, LPO, business process outsourcing, knowledge process outsourcing, you know, legal process outsourcing. Obviously, soft skills play a major role. And when it comes to English, English is naturally labeled as the language of development, language of employment, language of empowerment, language of economic development. That's what I, I should say. The issue, obviously, uh, we need to cater to the needs, changing needs of job market. And by empowering our students, by empowering our students, we should uh, empower ourselves. So obviously, uh, liberalization, privatization, globalization, and now we are talking about digitalization, digital world. We are also talking about digital world, digital divide, knowledge gap, as I told you, we are also talking about digital divide. So uh, when it comes to English in India, the retrospect, I have already spoken about it and English is now lingua franca. English is not just Babu's language. English is not just the language of IS officers as it was before during the independent period or after that. Now there is a major shift in the status of English and it is now emerged as a language of common man. Ordinary people begin to seek English for the reason that English brings some kind of job, English brings some kind of knowledge. English is now window of knowledge. English is now window to the world, window to the world. And more and more people want to speak English, not because of passion. Earlier it was Babu's English. Earlier it was class, upper caste in this country, but now, it has been a language sought after by all kinds of people. So uh, that's why we, we all read about uh, the English medium education, this, that. Of course, we don't endorse the idea of English medium education for primary schools. But in higher education, we, we cannot you know, deny or we cannot uh, undermine its importance. English has escaped from the library, of course. Now, it, as far as uh, knowledge is concerned, knowledge is available in all languages now because of uh, huge translation business that's happening. And uh, our Google Scholar, Google Translator is helping many. And, and obviously, knowledge is available in all languages. But jobs as such, Sustained economic growth requires more English speakers. 
Now we are talking about skill India, digital India, making India. So obviously English is a causality of wider problems. And obviously we need to go for, uh, you know, uh, developing English skills among our students. So we require a diversity of approach uh, that we will uh, discuss. We require English for three important reasons in this country. One for education, the best education whenever you are talking about, you know, you are always talking about Delhi education. Whenever you want to go for a competitive examinations, you know, you say that we should go to Delhi and get the best coaching over there. Uh, what does it mean? Don't you get the same quality here? Don't you get the same quality in our own state? So whenever we are talking about higher knowledge, higher skills, we are always referring to the global standard. We are always referring to the national standard. So whenever it comes to higher education, we want to have knowledge of English because knowledge of English will introduce you to the best education available in the world. The second thing is employment. That's what I told you. English emerged as a language of employment. Language of employment, I will tell you how many. Yes, uh, I think I should. Uh... Okay. Uh, I mean to say that the language which has emerged as a language of employment obviously helped a lot of movements across the country, across the globe. Because of employment, you are, you are husband is in America, you want to go to America, your son is in America, your daughter is in America as an engineer, you move from one country to another country, in, you go to Saudi Arabia, you go to you know uh, Germany because you were you were relatives are working there or your kid and kin are working there. This is what we call social mobility. So this led to the learning of English. And one more thing I tell you, India has the young population. Uh, almost uh, we have 21% of young population in this country, we compare to other countries in the world, India has the highest youth population, which is to be properly capitalized uh, by our policy makers and educators. That's why we are all thinking of uh, the next uh, century. It was a vision of our, uh, uh, you know, statesmen. It means why it is India's century. India has a capacity to provide the best youth, capacity to build its own infrastructure, capacity to build its own knowledge base. And, and that's why there are more prospects of India becoming a strong economy based on these statistics. Let's see. You know, all uh, English as a language of employment, if we can think of it, all conventional and professional degrees need value additions. That's what I was telling you. BA plus English skills, become plus English skills, BSc plus English skills, B plus English skills. This is what we call addition to knowledge. Addition to knowledge. Can you speak in English? I can speak in Urdu. Can you also speak in English? Can you also speak in Marathi? More than one language, if you have My capacity to speak, use more than one language, your value is added, your value is doubled. If you can manage customers of different languages, you are prepared to the, to the person who knows only one language. That's what I tell you, the importance of second language or the importance of extra languages. English skills are much needed for all courses. A survey says our professional degree holders lack English language proficiency. All employment markets demand better proficiency, better proficiency. So there are careers here, engineering, call center, BPO, KPO, LPO, 
animation, graphics, hotel management, advertisement industry, tourism management, radio jockeying, TV presentation, journalism, investment packing, retailing, fashion photography, what not. Number of jobs are available. We are always talking only about government jobs. There are almost more than 80% of the jobs available in the private sector. Besides that, self-employment is another important skill. So what is this, this soft skills? We are not talking about engineering. Soft skills require. Education is required. Aptitude is required. Third is soft skills. Call center, soft skills is primary. If you, are, you, you want to join call centers, Soft skills is primary, secondary aptitude, third training, fourth education. What is your education? Even there are PUC passed students who are getting more than 50,000 rupees or 70,000 rupees in, in Bangalore. If he or she can speak the best English possible because education comes last, soft skills come first. In retailing, you know, now we are talking about the huge retailing business. Soft skills come first. Hotel management, of course, education is necessary. Soft skills is secondary. It's very, very important in hotel management. Advertising industry, soft skills play a very important role. Okay. In flight hospitality, of course, training is necessary. And next comes soft skills. So, for all these reasons, I have just given you some job sectors and the importance of soft skills. So, what is soft skills? You know. So silicon.com has come out with one uh, statement that it's surprisingly hard to find graduates which have a combination of technical skills and the right skills. The sh shortage, the shortfall appears to be worsening. Two thirds of the employers panel failed graduates. graduates did not have the right skills for business. So this is a statement from silicon.com in September 2009 itself. So what the, what the employers actually require? Can you work in team? They ask a question. Have you a confident, polite manner? Can you explain ideas patiently and clearly? Explanation skills. Can you handle telephone calls well? How best you can handle the telephone calls, telephone skills. We are talking about telephone skills. Uh, am I speaking to Mr. Sharma? Yes. Uh, am I speaking to 2327228? Yes, you are speaking to. So minimums, huh? what is your name? What is that? So <laughs> we should have the best approach, the best skills as far as telephone handling is concerned. Are you familiar with standard office software? Minimum computer skills are required today. Minimum computer skills, minimum handling of Word, minimum handling of Excel, minimum handling of, you know, softwares. Can you make clear presentations to colleagues? Clear presentations, whatever you have, the simple knowledge. Can you make a presentation? Can you communicate well to speakers from another culture? If you are speaking to an African, you are speaking to an American, if you are speaking to a British, if you are speaking to uh, a Chinese, can you communicate with them? Hmm. What do employers want? Spoken or written English language? skills. Can you tell the difference between the manager's request and an instruction? Knowledge of specialist terms within the trade, profession, organization relating to legal issues. Ability to shift appropriately between informal and formal varieties of several languages. So these all come under soft skills, I tell you. Soft skills what kind of English is necessary? What kind of skills are necessary? 
Knowledge of English is necessary. Simple structures, vocabulary in use. Knowledge of communicative grammar. Communicative grammar. If I am teaching you simple present tense, I should teach you with the available communicative sentences like I wake up at six, I go to college at eight, I come back at one, I watch TV at five, you know, I read newspaper daily, I go for a walk daily, my father goes for a walk daily. Simple sentences, you, you, we don't require scholarly English. That's what I said, English in use, English in context, English in context. That's what Ferdinand de Saussure says, la parole. La lang, la parole. La lang means knowledge of language. La parole means use of language. So English in use. What English is necessary? A BA student should not study BE English. A BSc student need not study, you know, M, M Tech English. He or she should have knowledge of the subject, knowledge of the vocabulary of the subject, plus general English, plus general English. That's what we call intelligibility in written and oral communication. Intelligibility. Whatever you speak should be understood by others. Whatever you write should be understood by others. If you can do that, that is the successful communication. So obviously, this is what the need of the hour. How English? Because I always speak about three important words. Why English? What English? And how English? Why we require English? We have already discussed this point. What kind of English? What kind of English? I, I told you knowledge of your own subject, the English of your subject, and then the general communication, general communication. The third question is how to, how to acquire best English? Grammar of English should be on the everyday life situations. If you know the grammar, you should attach it to everyday life situations. Practice English daily. Many students come and ask a question. How to speak English? My answer is that you should start speaking English. Unless you start speaking English, you cannot develop. Whether you speak, you know, whether you commit certain errors or whatever, don't worry about that. Attach each and every sentence to your own situations. Consider every spoken or written word as a part of language learning. You can also use, it is not just English classroom, it is not just department of English which has a responsibility to teach everybody English. Even a mathematics professor may be speaking good English, physics professor may be speaking good English, or some Hindi professor may also be speaking good English because there are some senior professors who have the best English available. I mean to say that it may be English classroom, maybe other classrooms, wherever the language is spoken, the language should be taken so seriously. Apart from classroom, there are cultural texts, I tell you. TV presentations, reality shows, cricket commentary, advertisements, okay? Radio FM, announcements, railway announcements, phone, you know, you, you have call center English. Other subject teachers are also using, that's what I told you, friends and relatives. So wherever English is available, try to observe them. A child always observes. So while learning language, one should be like a child. You know, child always observes when the child is three months, four months, you know, even when it is in the womb, it is said that it gets the vibration. Formative years, two, three years, the child always observes the seniors speaking. And that's why the child acquires the first language. Similarly, even at this age, if we are like ch children, 
if we are so curious as curious as that of children we can acquire any number of languages there are scholars who knew more than 10 20 languages it means that they are capable because they always considered each and every opportunity very very important uh, opportunity of learning language so uh, i mean to say that india is now the land of opportunities a proper career plan will help anyone to achieve desired success. Acquire English speaking skills enables us to compete globally. If you can develop good skills, it will enable you to compete globally. English skills will continue to fetch Indians many dream jobs. So these are some of the points that I, I wanted to you know, share with you uh, in the form of slide. But what I, I mean to say here is that, uh, uh, Professor Chilu, I'm going to make you host. Uh, you are host now, okay? Mm. Uh, I, I just want to conclude that we all require uh, some 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 kind of courses which will make us feel confident of course that is now started by department of english will certainly help you to acquire right skills in the right time right skills in the right time is equally important so obviously what i mean to say uh students should uh, make use of this course should not just consider that it is like any other course whenever there is an add-on course it is started with the special objectives we are all supposed to make use of the course started by the department and at the same time always contemplate on how to grow ourselves uh, you know uh, with best skills uh, available so i on this occasion i congratulate department of english uh, uh, for, for having decided to start a course in communication skills it's also a great opportunity for me to be here with you on the inaugural and uh, I thank everybody, the management of Nehru College and the Department of English and all the colleagues of Nehru College for this wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Over to Shayin. Leadership and learning you, are indispensable to each other. And so, as a leader, you have acquainted us with the mass knowledge on life and practical skills. Thank you so much, sir. We become stronger because we have memories we can't forget and dreams to chase. We are beyond blessed to have a great supporter among us, someone that always aspires us, who is none other than our principal sir, Professor Syed Firoz Ahmed. Now I invite our principal sir to pass the presidential remarks. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Shahid. Good evening, everybody. Honorable President of Anjuman Islam Al Haj, MC Savnur Sahab, members of OB and EB, Administrator and my mentor, Major Dr. M. Fansari Sahab, Chief Guest of today's function and the Speaker of the evening, Dr. Gurnath Badger, Associate Professor and the Chairman for the PG Center at uh, Government First Grade College, Dharwad. Head of the Department of English and IQAC Chairman, Dr. Chillur, NAP Coordinator, Dr. M. S. Etnati, colleagues from the Organizing Department, that is Department of English, Dr. Rab, Dr. Disha, Dr. Dalayat, the host, Shaheen Parveen and her associates, viewers, and my dear participants. At the outset, I would like to thank and congratulate 
Dr. Gurunath Badger for gracing this occasion and wonderfully explaining about the very significance of English language pertaining to our subcontinent is concerned. As Professor Badger said that the Indian subcontinent is a hub for youth and it has many things, many opportunities for the youngsters provided we are skilled. Sir, at this particular juncture, I would like to say that in this pandemic situation where we are lost our loved ones, we are depressed, but still to continue the learning process and educational system continuity, we have just organized in a span of one month, that is from 19th May to till date, one international webinar, 14 national webinars of all the subjects because our college is, our, is a multidisciplinary one, five national competitions, maybe in the form of essay writing, quiz, allocation, where we hone the skills of our students pertaining to the writing skills, pertaining to their vocabulary skills, pertaining to their mental ability. So these webinars, either international or national, which we have organized, of course, they enrich our knowledge, not merely the staff knowledge. We just motivate the students what is there in their respective subjects in future coming course of time. We have also organized the lecture series with uh, UG and PG. Then we have certificate courses. I'm very happy that the Department of English has organized a wonderful, well-designed, beautifully planned certificate course for which I would like to congratulate the entire Department of English, particularly the head of the Department of English, Dr. Chillur. And I am told that this certificate course is well organized and it has been divided into four uh, papers with uh, one practical paper. Probably I think in this practical paper, we are going to hone the qualities of the students pertaining to the skills. Well, we have organized around 30 events altogether up till now, right from May 19th. This indicates that we have taken this pandemic situation as a boon, not bane for the learning process. And I am really blessed to have such type of wonderfully working staff. And the students are also blessed to have such type of knowledge, scholarly teachers to them to guide in a proper manner. At this particular juncture, students, please remember that if anything betrays you, that is your language than anything else. So, Hone your language, hone your vocabulary, hone your writing skills pertaining to the English, English language. Because as the guest of today's talk said, 78% of corporate sector requires writing skills or the vocabulary skills in English. So now that 78 to 80% of the corporate world is expecting us to on our language. And since lang English language is accepted when compared to other regional languages in the Indian subcontinent, you got to hone your language, maybe in the form of writing or maybe in the form of vocabulary. So well, at this particular juncture, I congratulate the Department of English for having come up with a certificate course. I wish them all the very best. And I request Dr. Gurunath Badigar to just guide our department, the English department colleagues in this particular direction so that we successfully do and complete this task in the form of a certificate course. Students get the best advantage of this course. With this, I conclude. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka. Namaskar. Thank you so much, sir. Over to Shaheen.
you are ever ready to make us walk forth on the path of all round development thank you so much sir for always adding the strength of purpose in us i would like to admit my thought a good event never ends in the world it only takes a pause and keeps us awaiting for the next with this i would like to call rubina shirodgi of ba 6 semester to propose the vote of thanks over to you rubina thank you very much shaheen the best and the beautiful things in this world cannot be seen or even touched they must be felt with heart thank you is a one such prayer among them good evening everyone i consider it a great privilege to promote propose the vote of thanks to the all dignitaries who have witnessed the program it is a memorable and a successful event we extend a hearty vote of thanks to the chairman and management member of anjuman e islam publi who always encourage us to walk on the path of success thank you we are delighted to express thanks to the administrator of the college major dr m f ansari for extending moral support to us at every juncture thank you very much sir gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues but also the parent of all we would like to express our profound gratitude to our principal professor sayed firoz ahmed we will always remain grateful to have you sir thank you we would like to we would like to propose hearty vote of thanks to our distinguished chief guest dr g k bedikar associate professor head of the department of english government first grade college dharwad thank you very much sir for gracing today's function and for the thought provoking address saying thank you is more than good manners it is good spirituality we would also like to thank we would also like to thank our head of the department dr s m chillur sir chairperson of bvs certificate course dr asha yan rabnam dr asha yan rabnam and coordinator certificate course dr disha madan ma'am thank you our heartfelt thanks go to our faculties who are second parent who always stand by us guide us motivate us and we feel proud and thank you for making us feel happy with your presence in this function last but not least and today i wants to thank to all the student friends for showing their interest in this function we also extend a lots of thanks to shaheen namira and kina once again thank you very much thank you one and all over to you shaheen bedegar sir thank you and uh... Entire team of English, congratulations! Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Jigarigar. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank <laughs> she is always <laughs> you know, yeah. supporting. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Badega sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, thank you. Nice seeing you all on the screen. Yes. We are very <laughs> sorry, sir. Yes. Namaste. Yes. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much for your presentation, sir. <laughs> you are always <laughs> sir, great. You yes, have sir. always supported us, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank, you, sir. thank, you. thank, thank you. you for your support. Bye. Take care of yourself. See you. Like. <laughs> Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you once again, Asha, madam.
Bishar Madam, yes, all my school, you, dear students, and the of the department, and my own dear ones, thank each and every one. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. First, very successful event, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. You in the chat box, yeah. You did very well, all of you. Yes, thank wonderful, you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciated you in the uh, chat box. Thank yes. You. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Shall I end, sir? Yes, please. Okay. Sir. Wonderful, wonderful. Dr. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your support. It's thank your you. initiation, sir. Thank you so <laughs> nice. much. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's your seed, which you sow. <laughs> yes. It will grow now. It will grow into the tree. Yes, definitely, sir. Definitely. I hope the students performed well, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, you were yeah. great, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, wonderful yes. anchoring, wonderful anchoring, girls. Thank See, you, sir. Thank you. Praising you. <laughs> Thank good, you good. so much, sir. Thank yes. you. Good, good. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, yeah, we we'll have sir. another meeting. I request all the yeah. students, those who are here, to attend the uh, national webinar on Wednesday from 11 o'clock. Uh, that is uh, Digital uh, Tools for English Studies. So it is na national level, but we have received uh, participants from international, three international countries. Three countries. And uh, yes. 27 and states. All over the country. 27 yeah. states. <laughs> Representations from Jammu Kashmir to Kanyakumari, even to Kanyakumari. Union, union territories, Andaman Nikobar and Pondicherry. And so I request all the students to attend and make it a grand success because it is English departmental webinar. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you once again. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes sir, Jai. Sir, principal, thank sir. You, thank sir. you so much. Jai, Jai, Jai. Jai. Yes, sir. Jai, sir. Yes. Jai, Jai. Jai. Okay. Yes, right. students, you can quit now, all of you. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye, ma'am. Bye bye bye. bye. It was a nice well. session, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye you bye. You did well. Yes, yeah. you did very well. All Thank of you. you. Thank you yes. very much, ma'am. Yes. yes, I'm proud. Ashaman, we'll meet after the half an hour. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. After having tea and okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. We have to have something. Okay, okay. <laughs> Since yes, one o'clock. Just play yeah, continuous yeah. programs. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> class, class but it was programs. nice that yoga was nice. I think students were there. Our students, yeah. dear okay, students, were well. there for yoga uh, program. Dear students. Namira. Yes, sir. Unmute yourself and tell. Ah, afternoon you were there. Afternoon function. No, yes, ma'am. Yes, you were there. Rohina? Mm, you would have been there? No. It was so good. Yeah, even I was there. At 2.30, I joined. Ha, ha, ha. Because I had a class. I left the class and then I joined. Yeah, I too. I left them and I had told them, see, I'm giving concession. You have to meet. Uh, you have to attend the meeting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll meet later, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Ma. We'll okay. meet up sometime. I'll, yes. I'll close this. Yes. Okay. Okay.